Hi, this is Benjamin Shanchuma, Parshish Bayera. This is entitled The Twisted Morality of Misplaced Compassion. And of course, I'm talking about the story in this week's Parsha when the two angels disguised as men come to Lot to warn him that the city is going to be destroyed. And suddenly, the entire city is gathered at Lot's door, pounding down the door, demanding that he send out these two men because they want to sexually abuse these two men. And th at that point, Lot does something very twisted. He says to them, I have two daughters who are virgins, and he offers them to the crowd. Now, the Medrash really finds this to be beyond the pale of morality. The Medrash uses very strong terminology. It says, the Medrash says, because you acted in this way of this twisted morality, it's going to continue. Because usually a father would do anything to save his wife or his, or his daughters. He would even be killed to save them from such a situation. But because you offered them up, so and this and you show this this terrible sense of morality, then it's going to continue, and you are going to be actually keeping them for yourself, so to speak. In other words, you're going to end up sleeping with your own daughters. So it's very interesting that this the way the Medrash gives a sort of midah uh, keneged midah for uh, for Lot, and I'd like to focus on what the Ramban does at this point, because Ramban does something very interesting. The Ramban brings up a very disturbing story that sounds almost the same. It's the famous story from, from the Book of Shoftim called Pilegesh Begiva. There's a story of a man traveling with his concubine, and he's looking for some lodging, and he is, finds himself in the territory of Binyamin, and no one will take him in. And finally, late at night, an old man sees them and says, you can stay with me. And once again, a gang appears at the door. This time it's not the entire town. It's just a gang. But they again are demanding that he give up his guests. They want to sexually abuse his male guest. And once again, the man offers his own daughter. The Ramban seems to feel that he knew this wouldn't work, but then he comes up with another plan. He offers up the concubine of his guest. And this seems to assuage the uh, you know the, the the crowd and they abuse her all night and subsequently in the morning she dies after that and this guest takes takes his concubine cuts her up into pieces and sends a piece to every tribe in Israel and tells them about the moral indignation tells them what happened to him and there's a tremendous outrage every single tribe comes and sends soldiers they they have a a large army that gathers much larger than, than the soldiers that the tribe of Benjamin has, and they are going to take revenge against, against uh, the tribe of Benjamin. So, of course, the, the, you already see stark differences, although the story sounds out the same, at least in the case of uh, Stone, the only moral outrage is God, who has a moral outrage, is going to destroy Stone. But in this case, the Jewish people have moral outrage, and they are gathered there. But there's another sort of moral overlay to this story, and that is that God is not pleased with the way it's turning out. He's not pleased with the tribe of Binyamin, according to the Ramban, because they should have taken matters into their own hands. And he's not even pleased with the way the, the Jews, even though their heart is in the right place and they took, they wanted to avenge this terrible act, but they are taking the law in their own hands. They're not using the Torah, they're not using the justice system that they should be using. And so what's interesting is they attack Binyamin twice, and even though they consult with the Urim of Tumim, even though they consult with the breastplate of the Kohen Gadol, they don't ask the right questions, they don't frame the question correctly, they don't frame the whole issue correctly, and so they get an answer which encourages them to attack, and they lose twice, and they lose many thousands of soldiers. So it becomes a very, very painful lesson for the Jewish people that even when you are right and you have moral indignation, you can't just take law in your own hands. And so that's, of course, another very, very big 
difference between these stories, that God is giving them a painful lesson. It's finally the third time when they come back and they frame the question correctly and they talk about their brother from the tribe of Binyamin and they have more, more details and more perspective than God encourages them and they do, they are victorious over the uh, uh, tribe of Binyamin. So in conclusion, it's just very interesting that the uh, Medrash, you know, finds this very uh, twisted sense of morality that, that uh, you know, Lotad having compassion for his guests more than his daughters. And here, the Jewish people, although you have to, you know, uh, acknowledge that they did have the sense of outrage. And I must say that never, I believe, in the history of the, of the Jewish people, until they had their first king, Shaul, did they ever gather soldiers from every single tribe, even though uh, certain tribes were attacked, like the, you know, in the south, there was always uh, problems with the Plishtim. You didn't see that, that the Jews cared enough that they would send troops from, from all other tribes to help protect their, the, their, their brothers in the south. But here, this, this moral outrage actually had them gathering troops from, from every part of the country, from every tribe, but yet it had to be tempered with uh, you know, learning a very painful lesson. And you could say there's sort of a misplaced uh, compassion here too, because yes, they had compassion for what this man went through, but uh, they didn't have compassion for the process that needed to, the process of justice that needed to take place. They didn't, they didn't give that enough prominence and they were going to do it, you know, as I said, by themselves, taking the law in their own hands. And that is a lesson that God wanted to teach them. And so you see, the, the, according to Rahman, uh, the similarities and great differences between these two stories. Have a great Shabbos.